backgrounds and studies. Our studies was carried out in line with sustainable development goal SDGs. We have goal 3, good health and well-being, goal 6, clean water and sanitation, and goal 4 is life below the waters. The reason we carry out these studies is because river pollution has become one of the environmental issues in Malaysia. And for example, the water river pollution in Kiki Rivers Pasir Rudas. Our problem statement is how the industrial effect the pollution and what is the impact of river pollution and what is the relationship between the lack of industrialization and the rivers of pollution. Let's proceed to the literature review. The literature review is done based on the test analysis. Past analysis, therefore, key politics, economic, social, and technology. The first aspect is politics. The 2017 environmental politics aspect indicated that the political free river is increasing since 2015. The environmental politics in 1974 are there but do not be implemented effectively. and by observing the river condition over Malaysia via various resources, including journals and articles from the internet. This is to equip ourselves with those background information. And after getting ourselves equipped with those information, hypotheses were set upon discussion and survey was conducted using Google Chrome. With the help of the internet, our survey form was spread rapidly in a very short time across social media. And in a very short time, Numerous responses was collected. Those data collected from our survey form was further analyzed and interpreted by using Microsoft Excel by setting a significant value at 0.05. We filtered our data collected only to respondents aged 17 and above. This is to ensure responses that collected by us are relatively mature and informational exposed. We have set three hypotheses for our test step. Hypothesis number one, where is water from industries that contain harmful chemical compounds contribute to river pollution? We want to guess that is this hypothesis number one is the main process that contributes to river pollution. Whether this hypothesis is applicable or not. And hypothesis number two is the effect of river pollution is not only devastating to people but also economic. We want to show that river pollution is not only harmful to humankind but also the life under the waters. And hypothesis number three, we want to see the relationship between the rest of industrialization and the rest of river pollution. We want to prove that whether the rate of industrialization increase, the number of river pollution will increase. Let's proceed to our studies of analysis. Our first now hypothesis is. Waste water from industry that contains harmful chemical compounds contribute to river pollution. Based on our finding and analysis, we find that since p-value, which is 0.236, is greater than 0.05, so we failed to reject questionnaire at alpha equals to 0.05. 
So it means that the respondents agree that chemical waste water is one of the main culprits of fuel pollution. The second now hypothesis is the effects of fuel pollution is not only devastating people but also affecting life. We found that P value is 0.377 and our alpha value is 0.05, so P value is greater than alpha value. Therefore, we failed to reject cash now which indicates that clinicians agree that real pollution has been devastating towards aquatic life. Proceeding to our third known hypothesis, which is the rate of industrialization increase will also increase the number of river pollution. Based on the data we analyzed, we managed to get a p-value of 0.217, which exceeds the significance level that we set before, which is 0.05. Therefore, we failed to reject the null hypothesis. This indicates that the public agrees that the intensity of river pollution increases with the stepping up of the industrialization in Malaysia. In a nutshell, human activities lead to the causing river pollution in Malaysia. For example, fumes from spray cans and methane gas from landfills, especially burning of fossil fuels. Based on our result, awareness of people must be increased through some alternative, such as campaign and social media like television, newspaper and internet regarding the importance of river quantity testing. Subsequently, actions to, should be taken by everyone from time to time to contribute in conserving river and keep river away from pollution. Firstly, the government should enforce the law and regulations of the country. The people who violate the law should be penalized. Next, quality education, which is one of the sus sustainable development goals, goals, should be given to the kids. These methods are to make sure that the rivers are clean and keep the river away from pollution. All in all, all parties should work in tandem to resolve the issues of the